All right, YouTube, we're going to play some Death Shadow today. Uh, we're going to play with Noah Strasslers, I think is his name, List from the SEG. Uh, something that's interesting enough, he's got Leyline of the Voids in his deck, which I kind of want to try with the new Mulligan roll anyways, but besides that, the deck's just, you know, the deck. So I'm just going to get into it, give it a whirl, and see what's going on. I haven't played any games with it yet. We're playing it today. This is the first time. First time I've played it in a little bit. There's a mox on sat on Saturday, so it'll have the new mulligan roll. So be excited to give that a whirl. Just exciting. We have a whole new world where my Streamlabs is all tweaking out. All right. I feel like I'd rather get this cry. Huh. All right, I would like to play first. And I don't know, is this what it does? Everything's dark. My hand's good, so I will keep it. My opponent kept as well. So we're gonna bobble ourselves on one. Check out our top card. <clears throat> See if we like it. Yeah, I think we like that. It's just a redraw that's gonna fuel Delve and Death Shadow. Okay. So playing against Abzan, you don't say. So I'm just gonna thought seize my opponent's thought seize to protect my Snapcaster Rage. <clears throat> that Siege Rhino we're going to have to be a little weary of. Probably going to have to deal with that somehow, some way. Bring Marsh and do an Inquisition. Nice. Bleh. What a draw. Yep, takes my snap. I've almost got Tarmogoyf, Tireless Tracker, Path to Exile, Siege Rhino. Um... We don't have Serum Visions in our deck, so we can just cycle this. Do this now. So I can just run this Death Shadow out there, but I don't really want to do that. I would like to get a removal spell. I'm like, I'm going to kill this Tarmogoyf, and then hopefully I can find a discard spell or something for this path before I play this Death Shadow. Oh, I gotta fix this. This is all messed up. I had to reinstall Moto. Overshot it. Opponent does not play anything. I'm just gonna get this into play tapped. Because, like, I could fetch a basic, so maybe I should have waited there. Alright, that's what we're looking for. All right, so now we take Path, play Death Shadow, and pass. And now we've got the Tracker and the Tarmogoyf covered. We just have to be weary of this Siege Rhino. So it's kind of like, how much damage do I want to take? I think we're going to just go Fetch Shock, because I would like to be able to... Uh, stub something if that arrives or if that occurs. All right, nice draw. Not gonna pay too much life on this uh, on this dismember because of the rhino. <clears throat> Oh, that's gross. Okay. Uh, 
psycho. All right, so an Inquisition will take the tracker. The question is, am I attacking? And if I attack, do I have to dismember the Tarmogoyf? I like surgical better, but in theory, leyline gets better after the after the new rule. So my opponent's hand is Siege Rhino, Tireless Tracker X. <clears throat> The problem is I'm going to go to three. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attack. And then I'm going to dismember this Tarmogoyf. Take two life and leave up. Like when, they, when my opponent goes to attack me, I'm going to dismember the Tarmogoyf and leave up two life. And... That shuts off Snapcasters and out too. Maybe this was stupid because I could just sit back and block. Okay. This was stupid. I just wasn't even, I wasn't, I didn't even think this out. Because I could have just waited. Because of what I was, no, it couldn't. Because the Siege Rhino Life Swing would make it so that I would, like, both creatures would be lethal, but I could remove a creature. This was dumb. This was dumb. All right, so did my opponent draw a land? Because if I just dismember this, so I'm basically just dead to the Siege Rhino anyways, unless I top deck because of the play, because of how I messed up. I didn't really mess up, but because, so I'm just not going to block. Because then if I don't block, I know I can beat the Tireless Tracker in my opponent's hand. And if they hit a land, okay. So they have a removal spell. Let's just hope it's not an Erupt Decay. All right. Got it. Okay. Uh, I don't think Lily on the Veil is very good in Grixis Death Shadow at all. All right, so what does our opponent have? Our opponent's got... Tarmogoyf and Lingering Souls. I don't think that's enough to board in Ley Lines for. I can board in Explosives, maybe, to be able to clean up a bunch of Lingering Souls. This is probably going to come down to, like, what I don't want versus what I do want. So, like, I want... I don't want these... And cut one of these and then just bring in the three drops. I think the one side is reasonable. But I think it's definitely not. Yeah. It's kind of tough. I don't really know how to sideboard here. Let me make this larger. Probably shave on a stub. Maybe this. But that might just, it might just be even better to have Stubborn Denial in my deck. In my hand because of Liliana. We're playing like Abzan mid range. Mm 
I would like another engineer explosives to just clean up lingering souls, but I don't even think they have that many lingering souls anymore. I think their deck's like a Kaya deck and like planeswalkers, so I'm just not gonna board for lingering souls. Be like screw it. It's a fine hand. It's a good seven cards. But I've been playing a lot of legacy lately, and you can't really F8 in legacy because you gotta bluff what you got going on. Oh, I can't even F8 now because of Street Wraith. That's sad. Hopefully I hit the start recording button for YouTube. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. All right, take my turn two removal spell. We don't want that. I think I'm just going to fire off this Street Wraith because we don't have Serum Visions to pay it with. And I would love to be able to hit a like a discard spell here because I can probably take like a Bob or something like that. We didn't. We had a spell off of this or we're in trouble. It's about, like, this is about spell quantity and we're just not doing that. I think, I think we're in trouble. I double sleeve everything. Huh. Okay. I'm not sure if I believe that is at, at is good to cut bobbles in a 17 land deck. But cutting uh, yield until next end step. All right, I'm going to need something here. Though cutting some number of anglers makes sense. I uh, use like KMCs. Kind of whatever I have. All right, we're dead. We can no longer win this game. I wonder if I even I have a target for that. Yeah, I didn't look that hard. Grim Flare. Okay. All right. Okay, so I've got one more Watery Grave to fetch. I guess I can also fetch a Steam Vents, which will turn on my Stubborn Denial, which is nice. Or at least, you know, protect us a little bit here. We can block this Grim Flare. Kind of, just kind of hoping here. We'd like to draw one of our three mana spells. The big old time away, okay. Another flare, okay. Our opponent has the creature draw. Okay. So we have another Death Shadow in our graveyard. My opponent's two card types off of Delirium. Block, block, block. Here. Take six. The question is, do I play a Blood Crypt? Or do I play an island? Because if I shock myself and I go to six, then, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shock one of these flares and I'm gonna return Death Shadow to my hand. But I also think I just want to play something at least. I think having a, having access to three tarns is good. I don't really know what to do here. I think I'm going to shock myself so I have the biggest thing on the board. Go block, eat this. Shoot here. 
return, take four, and then I go three, and then it's this and this, which will put me at, then I can play another shadow. I could have done that right now. Because now I open myself up to like a discard spell. Yeah, now we could just be dead. This is part of like a mistake that, yeah, see, but I just, well, the, the Maelstrom Pulse beats me anyways, because the Pulse would have gotten both of my shadows. So yeah, we're dead. I won't show him the Colorado's command. Yeah, because it, like, I can beat single removal spell plus discard if I would have gone shock this, bring back shadow, play shadow on my main phase. But I wouldn't have beaten Maelstrom Pulse either way. I should probably want the spell snare now that we're now that we're back here. I'll cut one of these. I'll cut another street wraith. I think I'm gonna really don't want to draw, but I'm like technically supposed to. They have so many high impactful two drops that I don't want to draw. I'm not going to draw. All right, well, we get to take our first crack at it. Okay, so we're going to keep this hand. And I think we're going to ship the angler. No, I'm going to ship the spell snare because I'm going to play Jace on two. So, like, when I want a spell snare, like a Tarma Wife or a Dark Confidant, I'm not going to be able to. So, I'm going to put this one back. That's kind of cool. Being able to map it out there. We got our first check with the rule. I'm going to stub a discard spell. Now, well, it's not bad. All right. Don't kill my Jace. Nice. It's unfortunate we don't have anything to flash back. Like, we don't have a, like, even if we can flip it next turn, we don't have a cantrip. Oh, am I getting pathed? Oh, man. Oh, I'll get another island. So I can go snap stub. So I'm good. That's pretty good. I'll take another. Oh, wow, nothing. Okay, so that's pretty nice, because that means we can, like, Thought Scour, Flashback Jace, and, like, Thought Scour again to just immediately make sure we get a card out of this Jace. Actually, now I can just go Thought Seize. All right, take Maelstrom Pulse. Flip Jace. 
then Thoughtseize the tracker. We're doing it. Take that, you Field of Ruin deck. Can't cast your spells. <clears throat> nice. Uh, this is the first. This is the first matches I've played with this list. So we cut off our one Colgon's command there, but that's okay. My opponent's next one is going to be like a wasteland, so you know that ain't great. All right, we're fielded. Should turn off my auto yields because I might want to. I might want to dismember this. All right, so they're not going to play into it, which is smart for them. All right, we're just going to play our land. I'm going to get this Jace up to four before I before I have to cash it in. Okay, it's a little annoying because now the flare. Now I can like trade the trade the flare for the um for the Jace. I kind of just want to get Watery Grave and like just to fix my mana, be able to Snapcaster back a blue spell and double black. If we draw a one Colgon's command, we're gonna feel pretty stupid, but like. Such as life. All right, that's nice. So now I can actually plus on this play Death Shadow and of Stubborn Denial. Then, like, next turn I can minus and dismember. Unless they hit. Okay. And again, we'll just do the same thing. Minus, dismember, pay two life. Now I kind of want to pay four life. Paying four life is super loose, though. So we're going to dismember. Just pay two. And then we're not going to attack. We're just going to pass. We're milking this Jace. Okay. All right, like I said, we're gonna feel stupid. So I wanna block this, I'll take two damage from this. We're dead to like a decay. Probably dead to lingering souls also. Get rid of that. Absolutely not. So they can deal with the Jace. Okay, which they choose not to. All right, so I'm going to do this right now. It's most of the time it's good because if my opponent draws discard, it's good. But, like, I could hit, like, a fatal push or something like that off the top of my deck. They're drawing planes. Sweet. I need, like, a second shadow or a Gurmag Angler. All right, not that. Play the planes. Something good. Nice. Now I'm going to wait. 
No, I'm just going to do this now. Let's see what they're drawing. They're drawing a Temple Garden. So I'm going to attack and then play another Shadow and plus on this. Play our homeboy and pass. All right. We can get out of this. We should be good. We've got them in the double abyss next turn. We can even be like lingering souls at this point. Jeez. I don't have any. I don't have any removal spells in my graveyard, so I think instead of getting fancy and like flashing back a thought scour, well, the problem is I'm just dead to siege right now. So let's look at the top of their deck, figure out what's on top because we might have to get fancy and like bring back a. And uh, okay, they're just drawing a land, so yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna play Liliana. I'm gonna attack with both my creatures. And then tick both my planeswalkers up. And we should have this one under wraps. Any thoughts on Niagara? I'm gonna play uh, blue red Delver. And I'm either gonna play blue red Delver, probably splash green or black. All right. Are your thoughts he's coming? Yeah, it's okay. It's the best Delver deck. Basic lands are nice. Ooh, it was a good first match of the night. Real tight and competitive. Feels nice to beat up on a bad matchup. We just got ley lines in here to try for this is just Noah's 75 from the weekend. I would splash take it easy, Johnny. I would splash um Ancient Grudge and Library. And maybe Cinder Vines. Uh I'm going to keep. If I hit a land... No, I should have mulliganed to just learn for the, the thing. Because, like, if I hit a land, Jace is going to smooth things out. But I should I should have mulliganed just to learn about the ley line rule. No, like, I really like Rug Delver, but, like, the base, you want basic lands right now. Basic lands are just so good. You get to True Name Nemesis, you cast True Name Nemesis, and you win the game. Nobody wastelands you. You know... Nobody like back to basics you. All right, we are Tronning. Let's take the Sylvan Scrying. It's not bad against Tron, actually. It's actually an argument that I should have let them let them keep that. All right, nice. So now we have Jace. I thought I played in Urza's Tower. So Jace, not great here. Not great here. Urza's Mine and the Chromatic Star. So we pretty much cannot beat a Worm Coil Engine. Oh, that's not good. No Tron. I would not play Spellbomb. Wow. Getting more time. All right. 
So I definitely want to flip Jace. And I want to play Dermag Angler. So one, two, three. Yeah, so we can do that. I have to think though, because I might want to, and I should have done that. I should have gotten a basic if I wanted to do this. But I definitely want to ditch this Gurmag Angler. Dismember. Okay. Well, now I kind of want to ditch Stubborn Denial. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So let's let's cover myself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did I have to hit like a bobble? No, I can ten. No, I'm good. I can play two of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I'm one off. Yeah, I miscounted my math. I was one off. All right, well, let's hope that they don't hit a Tron piece. No, no Tron piece. But Hanger Back Walker for two is annoying. But we can get in the way of that. So I'm not going to crack that fetch land because it's just to turn off the clock. Dylan Hubby, can you give me a quick rundown on how New Mulligan works? Okay, so New Mulligan, if you, let's say you Mulligan a six, you get to look at seven cards, and then you get to pick one of your seven cards and put it on the bottom. You don't scry. That's another blista. This is another blista that's really bad. Jeez. Because now they can just block and attack attack and kill me what if I attack with one if I attack with one my opponent just doesn't block and then pumps the one that doesn't get blocked and uh, they just block, they pump the one that doesn't get blocked and they kill me. So I can't even attack. Oh, that's sad. Now I have to draw like Fatal Push or I'm going to lose. That gives me another turn. So you go to five, you put two. Yes. So I need another blocker or a removal spell. Hang on. I guess I can attack with both. No, then they just pump. I can't play the Wraith. I go to five, attack, they block, shoot me a three, pump, yeah, so... We need a removal spell or a battle rage, not an inquisition. Might as well just fire this off. Okay. All right, we're going to get one more shot at a removal spell. Battle Rage would do it. Have I exiled a Battle Rage? Yeah, I have an, I've exiled one Battle Rage and one push. Okay.
Uh, so I'm still just dead no matter what here, unfortunately. Think it's going to do anything broken? I don't know. I think it helps all the decks. Like, every deck gets better because of the mulligan. So I'm just going to attack, play Shadow, then hope my opponent messes up. Yeah, if I had a removal spell right here, I got him. But I did not. Decks that wanted to well but weren't particularly great at it benefit the most. The planner on Battle Rage? No. I wasn't playing on Battle Rage anyways. All right, let's just hope they mess it up. I mean, they have nothing to mess up. Like, they can't... Like, the only way they could mess up is if they get to Tron and they decide to play Karn. Turn seed to get. Draw a card. Oh, man. Okay. So, against Tron, we want Stroke... Rejection. I do not want Fatal Push. I'm just going to cut my four Fatal Pushes, then bring in like in a braid. And then call it a day. It's pretty easy. Um, I don't know. I think, like, all decks benefit. Like, even control decks, because, like, you get these hands that are like, you choose whether or not, if you have like two removal spells and one permission spell, sometimes when you mulligan to six, you only have like that permission spell is not there. So you can get rid of like one of lightning bolt where your extra can, extra uh, <coughs> removal spell to hedge. So you have one of everything, which is nice. Um, well, I guess I probably should have boarded out my Jace. I probably should have boarded more. I, was, I probably should have cut these and brought in more shocks. Um, so this deck's kind of, this hand is a pretty fast angler. And I can stub something. So I'm going to keep this. Looking for a land. Yeah, I, I should have sideboard. I should have cut these Jaces. I was just talking. Didn't do it. So we want that. I'm just going to fire this bobble off. Because I'm going to 100% use my mana next turn. We hit a Street Wraith I, or another Bobble. I can actually play Angler. Which would be nice. Did not. How sad. No, I still can play Angler. Am I crazy? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can still get the Angler down. All right, turn two, Gurmy. I play in the list that um that what's his name played at the the Noah Strassler top eight of the um the SCG with. So now we just kind of wait, which is pretty close to what Sam was playing. Yeah, dude, stir it up. Ulamog. I wonder if they're sandbagging me. They've got the double tower here. They've just got the mine. All right, I'm not going to need double rejection or double stroke. But I might. So we're just going to like tap low of it. Get out of my face. Cool. 
Nice. Battle Rage. And attack. All right, nice. Jace's were kind of sweet. Jace was kind of sweet there. We just dug me a card. I'm going to cut one, bring in another braid. Not going to get too excited about it. I'm going to go with it. I'm just going to assume it's better than a Colagon's Command. I've only, I've only get once, and it was nice. Like, the fact that I could pick, like, I mapped out my turn exactly. Like, I was, I said that I was going to, I was, I knew, like, mapped out my turns. I was like, okay, I'm not going to have time for the Spell Snare. And I just cut it. So I'm on the draw. I don't have a threat, and I have this battle rage. I think I'm gonna mulligan. Let's just try it out. Like this hand's now eh, it's not that close. If this was a watery grave, I would keep. Alright, so we'll keep this hand. And we'll put this land on the bottom. And we're really going to hope that we find a Death Shadow on top of the deck. So I'm just going to fetch and then cycle my Street Wraith, damn it, just to gain more information. All right, we found a Shadow. All right, so we're going to have Natty Tron. So let's get rid of the turn three payoff. Let's hope in two draw steps, we can handle the turn four payoff. Now I wish I'd taken the other one. Ugh. So I should just play both of these just to like, cause I'm not gonna beat this Ugin anyways. So I'm going to play both of these shadows out and hope that we kill my opponent next turn. Oh, so they, they got a forest. I guess they didn't have... Huh. Oh, this is still turn four anyways. Yeah, this is just a better play. Yeah, no, they're, they're smart. So now they're going to get themselves a blocker, looks like. It's also a target for Dismember, which would not get them killed. It would get them close. Okay, come on. Shoot. So if I crack them for 14, my opponent goes minus one. If I crack that, how do I win? I just like don't think I win. Uh, how I win is I just draw Battle Rage after I kill them because like, they're going to go minus one with their Ulamog, with their Ugin, and wipe my board. And they're going to go plus three to kill me, to put me to three. And so if I'm at five, then they can just play Ballista and kill me. So I just have to crack them for ten. And then play this tapped. No, they've got this, they've got Ugin. And they chose to fetch us Forest, which means they drew the other piece. So they're going to go minus one, and then I can play my Gurmag Angler, and I can rip, um, I can rip Battle Rage and kill them. And yeah, where the points are made up and the rules don't matter. What's going on, Tim? 
I've seen your frustration. Yep, you got it. Based on the mulligan rule or based on the mulligan implementations. All right, so now we have an owl. That's not one of them. This is eight damage. I shouldn't have played that land. Oh, I shouldn't have played that land. That might get me killed. Oh no, playing that land is gonna get me killed. Oh no, that's so bad. Yeah, I think playing that land is gonna give me is gonna give me is gonna get me. We knew this wasn't going to be good, but Yeah. I mean the good thing is, is that you've realistically got most of your deck figured out, right? Like, you know, which at least that's nice. So my opponent can choose to kill my Gurmag Angler, which wouldn't, might not be a terrible play. Or they're just going to tend me. Yep. Yeah. We had a shot this game. We had a shot this game. And we, we could have won this game or the first game. Like, we were a stubborn denial from winning. We were, like, we had seven draw. We had, when we drew for our turn, we had seven outs to win the game. And is my opponent, yeah, they see it. Okay. We had like seven outs, so it would have just won us the game the first time around, but they just weren't, we just didn't quite get there. When are you getting in, Tim? Okay, I'm gonna have to turn the, whatever it is on here pretty soon, the lights. I would like to play first. And I would like to keep. Yeah, what time Friday night? Is it like respectable time or you get in like at the um, like late or when? Hopefully we'd stub something. I'm gonna let that go as I might be able to hit a um, uh, Ancient Stirrings next turn, or not Ancient Stirrings, Sylvan Scrying. Can someone up? So it'll be after, depending on how we want. Oh, okay. All right, that's not bad. So do I want to get another Watery Grave with this? Yeah, that's all right. So let's just Thought Seize. I'm actually going to take the Relic, because if he doesn't play Sylvan Scrying, then I can th snap Thought Seize next turn. So I've, and it keeps my Gurmag Anglers intact. Okay, there's the star. I'll stop anything here. God, Tron just like churns through its deck so well. Stub this, and then I will snap thought, seize the scrying. Yeah, I was going to play Legacy tonight. 
But then I saw a tweet that was like, the legacy metagame is like in shambles at the moment on Moto. And I was like, yeah, I don't really want to do that. But then like, whatever, modern metagame is in shambles anyways. All right, there's the star. All right. And we got big angles. So I'm just going to keep all the wheel spinny cards in there. We don't have looting, so we can just get rid of it. I guess we have, we have two other cards that we're going to want to get rid of anyways if we draw another Jace. All right, opponent scoops it up. So we determined we didn't like one Jace in all of our pushes. And I'm going to board in both the braids, this, this, and this, and call it a day. It's not like we'll figure out a better format. I bet they're going to, I think they're going to keep it. To hit like what one of their four targets all right we get to do a little bit of mulligan action here all right so this is nice because we get to keep and like we have a card that we just actively want to get rid of This one might get rough. All right, let's, what am I doing? I'm 100% using my mana this turn, so I should go get a Blood Crypt, then Cycle, and then figure out if I want an Inquisition or Thoughtseize. We don't have any Serum Vision, so we don't have to worry about it. So... I guess I'll Inquisition. Okay, so they, they've got Tron on. So let's get rid of this Relic so that we can one day pray that we'll be able to play our Angler. All right, they're doing it now for that, that F6. Goodness. So we'll start here. Because this might inform our decision, even though like we're pretty much 100% going to take this Karn. Then just hope they miss for a couple turns. By a couple turns, I mean the rest of the game. I hope not, but... They don't admit when they are wrong, so they probably will. This should usher in the new ban list and they still be able to find it. Oh, is this a thought? Did you hit a thought knots here? Oh, it's just an O stone. Alright, we can beat an O stone. Um Yeah, I mean I understand your frustration, Tim. I don't know I don't necessarily know if I one hundred percent agree with you, but I, I understand your frustration. All right, I'm just going to braid and play Gurmag Angler. Like, I could sit here and hold, but, like, we know two out of the three cards. Like, I, I think it's a, I think it's an overall good move. I don't think it's, like, I'm just going to get rid of, I guess we might as well leave this a braid. We can get rid of this Thoughtseize. Like, we'll push back on the Um, I don't know. I think the mulligan rule is just good. It's good all around, in my opinion. I need to turn some lights on here. All right. You can draw all those, all those you want. All right. So I'm assuming they're just on air. That's pretty nice. That means they got one turn.
Um, and they got to beat us through rejection, so it's kind of like what Ulamog or bust. I'm gonna leave the abraid in, I guess. Yeah, I think the new mulligan rule should help ley lines. That's why I'm playing them tonight. Like, I usually don't really like ley line that much. Don't ulamog me, bro. Oh, man, that's a good one. That is a good one for him to have. All right, well, we're just attacking. And I, I lose, the sad part here is like I lose this race, but I have to just, I guess I win the race. Ooh, I think Dotsies would get better. Don't play anything, come on. It's really dangerous letting these things resolve with this Sanctum. Nice draw. So I can go snap a braid to clear this out, or I can go rejection, snap rejection. You can have that one for sure. All right, we should have them here. Get rid of this beast and then crack in. Let's do it. You got like surgical. Dismember doesn't do it because the snapcaster just kills him. Extraction would give him a turn because he just chumped the angler. Nice. We got him. Um, so yeah, Thoughtseize. I so I think that like Thoughtseize gets better as then Thoughtseize is pretty solid against the glass cannon decks, which will improve as long as you don't get chalice out of the game. You know, like getting like you might have to have more answers to chalice in the 75. Because, you know, the play pattern of Simeon Spirit Guide Chalice the Void is going to be more apparent. Um, but you tend to beat up on the Degenerate decks. Though Dredge is kind of a tough matchup, but if you have four Ley Lines, you can handle Dredge. So, like, you know, Dredge will find their hate pieces. You know, they'll be able to sculpt a hand. Um... The Is It Phoenix deck probably gets better, and the Is It Phoenix deck is almost becoming like a bad matchup for Death Shadow, just because, you know, Pyromancer's Ascension is such a beating. I'm going to keep this hand. I'm not... Well, actually, no, I'm just going to mulligan. We're on the draw. I get to see another card, and we get to do the mulligan roll, so I'm just going to ship this. And I guess I'll keep this, and I will ditch a Blood Crypt. Like, before the mulligan roll, I would have kept that, but I just wanted to try it out. Okay, so I know I'm going to use my mana on this turn anyways via Thought Scour or the discard spell that I'm going to hit right here. So I'm going to fetch before doing this okay? because I would like to hit. And we don't have like a Serum Vision or anything like that or to, to combo with it. So I might as well just like improve my draw step a little bit. And like I know that it's usually bad to thin, but like I, I'm guaranteed to use this Thought Scour anyways. So I might as well do it on my main phase because I get one more look at a, uh, whatever it is. I get one more look at a discard spell. <clears throat> I did make the draw step worse. I made it even, right? 
I took a land out and shuffled a land in. So, like, I didn't even think of that. That's a nice draw. Um, yeah, because we, we our, our Stubborn Denial is not online yet. I guess I should have played it because I could get any... Oh, Jesus. All right, well, let's take that one. Well, it looks like we might be twitching out here, tweaking out here. Oh, we're back. We had some minor technical difficulties. All right, so we're just going to play Death Shadow, have Dismember and Stubborn Denial up, and then, like, I'm fairly confident that we can't lose the game. <clears throat> Not going to play Jace. I'll play Jace next turn. Yeah, I didn't think about that because it's on the bottom. Yeah. I took a land out, but I shuffled a land. So I, I didn't gain I didn't gain anything. Did they not play the planes? They still have the planes. They did not gain anything from it, to say the least. It was just negligent. It was yeah, I, I mean my th my my whatever it was flawed. Alright, let's just get our boy in play. I mean, like, this card gets better with this mulligan rule, I think, because, like, nobody's looking to kill it. And if it flips, you're just going to get enough advantage just drawing uh, drawing spells. Is this the cast one, or is this has to enter? Because, like, they have a Noxious Revival. I might just let the Noxious Revival resolve. Nah, uh, I'm not going to fight over this. I have two removal spells. And I have, like, an Inquisition that I can flash. Like, I'll give them their two for one, whatever. We know their hand is... We know the hand is this. Play planes. Yep, you got it. Okay, so Dismember puts me to... Dismember puts me to four, to five. This is one, two. We're trying to think of how I die. I, I think I'm just going to push it. Because I don't want to have, like, some weird set of draw. I guess they could have, if they draw, like, a, if they draw a land, then, like, repeal, and then draw Grave Shot, the repeal, I could die. So I'm just going to push this, not Dismember. Not take the damage. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna strip the repeal out of their hand with the Jace next turn. Or like whatever good thing they draw. Yeah, that's like the stones. I'll stub this. Loot. I could just discard. Yeah, I could just ditch the Snapcaster Mage and then just go Inquisition, Inquisition again. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So actually, I'll just go like this first. They have a land, and I won't minus on it. And I guess we'll just, yeah. All right. All right. So Spell Snare is nice because it hits all eight of the duders. Probably don't need this Jace. We probably can cut the next Jace also. So let's just get rid of this Jace. Bring an Antibrate. I could have like explosives. And then explosives away. Like just put explosives on zero. 
but they might be able to find a way around that. <clears throat> yeah, I'd rather just, like, kill the thing. Like, I, I don't think... I think by, like, getting too cute, I could lose this matchup. I don't think, like... I think it's pretty difficult to lose this matchup. I'm going to mulligan this hand. It's slow, though. All right, this hand's pretty solid. So we're going to keep this. Then I'm going to ditch a land. Leyline of the Lord. Or Leyline of Sanctity. Okay. That makes sense. All right, let's do, what am I doing? There's no need to shuffle that land back in like Grant talked about. Yeah, explosives are two, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cycle this now. All right, now we just hope they don't kill me here. Oh no. Oh no. Wow, they missed. All right, I'm going to fetch. Ooh, that was a nice draw. All right, now I'm just going to go. There's no sense. I mean, I guess my opponent has noxious revival, but like they're still not they're still not getting anywhere. Because they are they dead ended last turn. Alright, nice. Should be good now. That's a great draw as well. How many turns is it? I guess I'm just going to attack and then fetch shock. Because now if I draw like a thoughts, a thought sees or a fetch land, then they're dead next turn. Just turns on more of my draws. I go to one, I guess. I guess I'm not even... I can go to one. I can like snap, dismember. Yeah, yeah, Retract. Return that. Okay. Okay. I guess I could have just countered the retract. Yeah, I probably should have just countered the retract. Yeah, I definitely should have countered. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right. All right, here we go. Playing for the 4-1. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. We got 32 viewers tonight. I hope you all are having a good night. The 4-1 dream. Yeah, it is. There, Mr. LaFlame. How's the poker going? All right, I'm just going to mulligan. We're on the draw, like... Whatever, we don't have disruption. Like, I don't think his hand's very good, and, like, I want to try the new rule. All right, we'll keep. Ditch a land. Should have ditched a different land. Blue Delta is my best land. All right, looks like we're playing against Phoenix. If we're going to play against Phoenix, this Jace is a awful draw. So we're looking for a Stubborn Denial so that we can hit an Ascension. That is not a stubborn denial. OK. 
Okay. I'm gonna get a watery grave. We don't have a death shadow, but like, you know, we do want to. We do want to get there. All right, that's not what we're looking for. All right, we got that covered. All right, I'm gonna look at my top card, see if I can get some information about what I wanna do with my life. I want that, so we're not gonna play Jace. The poker is going. How's life going? All right, looks like our opponent's gonna run out on us here. Okay. Put one on top. No looting. Don't loot me, bro. Jeez, okay. That's a nice draw. That's a nice draw as well. All right, so 14. 12 does not turn on my death shadow, unfortunately. So maybe I just play the Jace. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Jace. I'm gonna feel really dumb if my shadow gets lightning bolted. Okay. Could have dismembered it there. All right, that's gonna kill me. Unless we get super lucky here and we can one shot him. Oh, maybe I shouldn't, I shouldn't have fetched there. This is a little loose. I should have just waited. So I'm going to be pretty liberal. I can't even be that because it's only a 5-5. Five five. Can't really stub an opt. Phil, I'm in a tough spot. I'm in a tough spot, Philly boy. I can't really stub anything. Yeah, like my opponent's dead if I get if I get the chance here. But the problem is, is like I can't like I really have to stub like everything. Alright, they're taking out fatal push. You got it. No counter for you. My opponent now knows they're dead AF. They only have three cards. All right. This is what we're doing. Do it then tap. All 
I have to turn more lights on here. Let me do that right now before I forget. I've been saying to do that. I'm going to do that forever. Hey, Scooch. And th this is this is a nice part about Death Shadow right now, is that I don't want to necessarily say that you're really good against Phoenix because like you were you were heavily favored against Phoenix before this card came into play. Once this card came into play, now the matchup is like 50-50 ish. Snapcaster Mage. I don't remember. I don't know how to sideboard. I haven't played Shadow in a bit. <coughs> I've been playing a lot of Legacy. But Shadow is no longer the landslide in this matchup that it used to be, which hurts. Okay. They're trying to give me a misclick here. What's the out? Yeah, my opponent was just trying to get me to fuck up. But you know, good on him. All right. So I assume against Phoenix. These come out. These come out. This comes out. These come in. And this comes in. It's a pretty nice five for five. I think it's worth mentioning that these, if I if my graveyard package wasn't Leyline, I would think about this. I have not tested this at all, but I would think about bringing these in because EE on two does deal with Ascension and Thing. Like, I don't know if that's really great or not, but it's like, I would not want to do it with, I have, like, my Ascension, this is my Ascension plan. Yeah, but push, push hits Thing for one mana, you know? Because the two E ten this matchup, I believe that it's not worth it. It is slow, and, and like I would be, I would be tempted to try it with, um, like if surgical extraction was my graveyard of choice. Yeah, too slow here. A lot of times, not actually. What does he do? The damage is done. No, nah, Jace gets lightning bolted. Like, their whole deck, like, your whole deck dodge. Like, I don't really, like, in theory, I don't really like Jace in the main deck of this deck because I think that your lightning bolts, you just, you get to blank lightning bolt. So I think this hand's a mulligan because I'm just dead to thing in the ice. Yeah, I don't have a discard spell. And I think this hand's a keep. Even though I'm in trouble. Get rid of the Battle Rage. We're probably going to go Blood Crypt Thought Seize on our first turn. Yes. All right, so our opponent's got Pyromancer's Ascension and Thing in the Ice. Echoing Truth and Beacon Bolt. Jeez. Okay, well, we got to take Pyromancer's Ascension because we just don't... We're just, like, super cold to that. The nice thing about their hand is that it is pretty slow. Like, it's got kind of everything that you'd want, but... 
at least it's slow. I kind of want a thought scour right now. I think it might turn on a surgical extraction if they left it in, but yeah, I think they bored out their surgical in this matchup. I just get more information. Let's make some think. I mean, I'm going to take the Manomorphos regardless, probably, just because it's it's the most powerful card in their hand. Yeah, we'll take one of them. It'll go Island. Okay, so they drew a land. Then I'll get a Swamp and Thoughtseize. Snap Thoughtseize, I mean. Excuse me. All right, let's check out our top card. If we like it, we'll just shock ourselves. If we don't, we won't. All right, we like it. We're definitely probably going to have to take this Beacon Bolt now and try to slog through a way to deal with the second half of it. Is Leyline better than Surgical? Uh, I don't think so, but I wanted to try this because of the Mulligan rule. Play their canal. All right, so they have one card. They have Echoing Truth. So we can play Death Shadow. Even if they flip and bounce this, I play Death Shadow again, I can Battle Rage and kill them. I mean, we're in a we're in a little bit of a sketchy spot here. All right. Leyline is so much better against Ascension. Yeah, that's that's where that's where it's you know it, it's really all about. Ooh, you're gonna give me no, that doesn't matter. But then Leyline does this. How do I win? You can't keep Jace. I, I, can, you, can you keep Jace in? My opponent gave me a chance to draw stub. I probably should fetch. Because I think my plan here is to just hope my opponent doesn't do anything. And then I'm going to play Leyline. They're going to bounce my shadow. I'll play Leyline. They're going to bounce at end of turn. Or bounce Leyline. And then I'll just replay shadow. And then like just pray to God that nothing bad happens. No, they've got some lightning bolts still in their deck. No, this is stupid because they can just bounce my ley line and do it. So I shouldn't even show them the ley line. Yeah, this was stupid. This was stupid. Wasn't thinking. Ooh, okay, they didn't. I guess now they get to just hold this Echoing Truth. Yeah, now I'm dead as a doorknob. Because this flips. Unless I draw, like, Inquisition or Fatal Push next turn.
They put a card on top, so that probably means I'm super dead. Hey, stop that. Okay, so I've got to get him to burn this ascension, but to burn this echoing truth in order to have a shot to win. I'm not going to show them the ley line. They're going to echoing truth this shadow, get him to use it, and then just hope that we rip either a snapcaster mage or a um hope we rip a snapcaster mage or a fatal push. We did. Yes. This is why. Oh man, I could just leave these in, but this is such crap. I don't even know how to cut. I like all my other cards better than I like Jace. Whatever. I'm just gonna not gonna bring these Jaces in. All right. I would like to play first. This hand's nice. I'm going to strike all. Okay. Probably not going to get to interact for the first couple turns here. So it might be a little slow for the home team. It's a nice draw. I kind of just want to stub this, to be honest. Should be able to see the deck on the Cardboard Live app. Here, which is on your screen. I'm going to, uh, I have two threats. I'm going to stub this. There's a chance my stub's not online for a little while. And I have four stubs in the deck. So, like, let's just. Ooh. All right, let's make him have the Lava Axe. We're not playing around Blood Moon. Or Lightning Axe, excuse me. This gives them a chance to... Uh, like echoing truth me but they ditched uh looting and an arc light so i think i'm definitely gonna run out this death shadow next turn because i've got a gurmag angler it was split it one and one. Jeez. I'm trying to get down there. Do you have one turn, buddy? I'm not going to spell snare a thing. I'm probably just going to untap and push it. Okay. All right. We drew all right there for sure. 
Okay. So we got a 4-1, which is pretty sweet. Um, let's chit chat about the deck. The two Jaces were really awesome in the match we played against uh, Abzan. And I was happy to have them in the main deck there. Um, I played against two Tron decks, which I didn't want the Jaces in the main deck there. Um, played against Phoenix where the Jaces weren't good. I can't remember what else I played against. I cannot remember. Can't remember the other card that I played against. The other deck that I played against. Can't remember. Well, it's out of my out of my head. So, um, when we go back to the sideboard. <coughs> the ley lines were nice when they were nice. Cheerios, yep, Cheerios. And we just like stopped Cheerios. But we we played against a bunch of decks that looked like they improved from the Mulligan rule, except for the Abzan deck. Four out of the five decks were kind of meta decks for the new mulligan rule um when it comes to the sideboard i didn't really you know sideboard was decent i didn't really need it a lot like the rejections were good the strokes were good the snare was insurance in the last game um yeah i mean it's just that shadow like it's it's a it's a good solid deck you know like it's it's not human it's not no excuse me it's not dredge and it's not phoenix but it's it's a tier below that so 